going on y'all so got a little bit of an update we are loaded uh, we got to the 49er truck stop last night uh, was hoping to get up Donner's Pass on the 80 up to that rest area at the top but it would have just been cutting it way too close with the hours that I had available I had an hour left and it was like 70 miles or 80 miles to get to that rest area so I decided to just shut it down here um, we're not taking this load all the way to the the receiver uh, they can't push the delivery date back because of the delays that we had yesterday and the day before so now we're taking it to Salt Lake City to the prime terminal over there and uh, a team is gonna take it the rest of the way because they can get it there you know a couple of hours early you know four or five hours early and it's a drop and hook so uh, I wouldn't have been able to make it on time in, even in the window for the drop and hook I would have uh, been about three hours ish outside of the window for the, the drop and hook and the customer is not willing to push the time back any farther because this loads already late it was supposed to be picked up on the first I didn't get assigned the load until the second and I wasn't able to pick it up on the second because we got held up at that uh, that delivery the other day you know, for eight hours so I picked it up on the third so this loads already super late and the customer for the delivery is not willing to move that time so it is what it is uh, we're about to hit hit the highway we're gonna head up uh, Donner's Pass up to 80 uh, up into Reno area in Nevada and I'll probably uh, see y'all around that time because I mean it's pitch black outside right now ain't no point in trying to film anything so I'll probably take a quick restroom break once I get up the top of the mountain and then uh, I'll check back in with y'all then check you later little update for y'all at the scale house getting inspected <laughs> outcome of this is what's going on y'all so we just got here to the prime spring or the prime Salt Lake City terminal and uh, just went through the inbound inspection lanes and uh, yeah about to drop this uh, trailer for the team to grab and get it to the 90 receiver and uh, I'll get a new load out of here. But uh, yeah, I got I got sent to secondary at the scale house coming into Utah on the 80 from Nevada. And luckily for me, they only did a level three. They just wanted to check my logs and my paperwork. But uh, they took freaking forever. They wasted like 45 minutes of my time. But it is what it is. At least it wasn't a level one. Level ones are always stressful. But uh, I'm gonna go drop this trailer right now and probably go do a Walmart run, go get something to eat because I don't have any hours left today to get anything. dropping this trailer and I'll get back with y'all all right so here we go dropping this uh, loaded trailer here you are Drop inspection.
trailer once over real quick. Make sure it's uh, nothing wrong with it. And they checked it on the way in on the inbound. But it doesn't hurt to check it again. Already took my lock off. They put theirs on. Looking good. So what we'll do is we'll probably head to Walmart somewhere to grab something to eat. I'm gonna chuck it once over real quick. But yeah, this is a Salt Lake City Prime Terminal where you drop the trailers. But uh, I'll check back with y'all in a little bit. All right, actually, I just lied to you folks. I am not gonna do a Walmart run because the Walmart is over 20 minutes away and I don't feel like going that far. So there's a little truck stop gas station Maverick down the street from this uh, prime Salt Lake City terminal. So that's where we're gonna go. Probably just get some snacks and whatever we need from there. They'll hold us through the night and uh, Whatever load we get tonight or tomorrow, we'll uh, see if we can work in a Walmart run during that uh, load. So right now we're gonna exit out of the terminal and uh, go get uh, some uh, some grub. I'll, uh, I'll shut up now and I'll fast forward. And here is the inbound outbound lanes this is where you come in and come out from you get fuel they got a scale they inspect your truck trailer all that good stuff if you need anything you can let them know um, obviously I don't need anything so I'm just gonna <coughs> go right on through That's pretty much it. And let's head to the store, get some something to eat. Uh, the cafe here might be open. The last time I was here, it was I got right here around the same time, and they were closed already. And I don't want to waste the time going in just to find out that they're closed. So I'll just go ahead and run down to this little gas station truck stop and get something from there. It's a Maverick. It's pretty nice, actually. You guys check it out right now. It looks like it's relatively new. They got truck parking. They got truck uh, truck fuel lanes. They got food inside. If I remember correctly, they have a restaurant inside too. But I think it was closed the last time. <coughs> but uh, I'll shut up now. Speed up the video again, and I'll see y'all when we get there. We are here. I am Bobtail. I'm not getting any truck fuel. So let's park somewhere out of the way. And uh, we'll walk on over there. But that's yeah, a little, uh, little Maverick truck stop. They got some truck parking truck fuel lanes so we are 
we're going to park right over here by this other bobtail. All right, let's go ahead and go in. This little Maverick here. So pretty nice little Maverick. But uh, I'll check back with y'all in a little while. We got our supplies, ready to head out. Figured I'd uh, walk this way instead of the other way. our truck she'll get a bath tomorrow before I leave the terminal or maybe we'll do one right now see when we get there RST it's gang gang right there if you don't know you gotta ask somebody or ask me it's the company to work for right here Company driver, lease, lease purchase. My brand new truck is in route. So. Let's head back to the terminal. Take y'all the other way. Oh, you know what? Yeah, screw it. Let's go the other way. And we are back y'all. We are here at the Prime Salt Lake City Terminal. This is where you pull in.
Thank you, good sir. This is the terminal, y'all. You got the trailer shop to the left here. Where they work on all the trailers. All these trailers to the right are the ones that need to be worked on or the ones being used for storage. This building to the right here, I think is OS and D. You got all the carrier reefer units, some extra truck hoods, a damaged truck hood. <coughs> Straight ahead there, right below the sun, is the washout bay. Then where all of these trucks are parked right here. That building straight ahead there is the tractor shop. Then we circle back this way. Behind the washout bays right here is where we dropped off the trailer earlier. And then this building right here next to the washout is the main building, the cafe, the showers, all that good stuff's in there. And we are gonna go park over here, somewhere. <coughs> but I totally stick out like a sore thumb because all these trucks are prime trucks. And my truck says RST. Back in right here to the right. And there we have it. That's probably gonna be it for this video today. Uh, we'll see what kind of load we get for tomorrow. Uh, eat my dinner real quick. Probably go get some exercise, walk around, go catch a shower, clean up this beard, and uh, see what tomorrow brings. But for now, check y'all later. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. Do appreciate it if you do, and I'll catch y'all next time.